What's going on everybody? Mr. JW here doing a live build for you guys of my new PC rig. So this is what everything's gonna look like here. No, leave is it good? Um so we got this is the brand new case here, this is the new case, this is the Be Quiet uh Base Pro nine hundred I think it was. If I can find the book. Yep. Base Pro is it upside down? No, that's good. Base Pro nine hundred. Um, it's the black edition, black and gray edition. Let me know how the audio is, guys, of how the mic volume is and everything like that. Let me know. I can make adjustments on the fly. Um, but yeah, so this is our, our new case. Everything is fully modular in here, meaning we can take anything out of here, move anything around. We just got done adjusting the vertical height of the motherboard tray here. Um, it was a little bit higher and so we brought it down so we could have room up here for where we're going to have our radiator for our cooling. Um, so I got to flip this over here, give you guys a little view of it. It's got a front door panel here uh, for sound dampening and for the five and a quarter. All right, awesome. Mic's good, sounds good. Uh, on top here, it has uh, Qi charging. So this is the wireless Qi charging that you would use for Android or the new iPhone. So you could just set it right on top there and it'll automatically start charging because that's powered. Um, power button here in the front, ports for headphones and microphone, USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 ports in the front. Nice to have two of each, that uh, is more than usually what most people have. That's nice. Uh, ventilation in the back here, if you can see it, not quite, but there's some ventilation ports here and right there. Otherwise, it's pretty flush on top here. I'm gonna be flipping this over here. So we're do I'm doing this in my roommate's room. Uh, he's helped me out with this and so we're just doing it on his bed because he's got a nice big bed to work with So this is the back side. It's got a fan controller here Before um, And it also can control the RGB strips RGB LED strips that we have so we have LED strips My roommate's gonna be in the chat there for you guys if you guys want to talk to him whatever um, But it comes with LED strips. If I can get the focus. There we go um, So it's just two strips that we'll be putting in later and then I can connect them to this controller. Not sure exactly how the controller controls the LED strips, but we'll get to that later. Uh, it has an SSD tray right here, which we're going to be putting our SSD. So we have the Samsung 850 Evo and SSD is going to be our secondary drive. And our primary drive is going to be the Samsung 960 M.2 Pro. So that should be a nice, uh, nice and fast for us here. What time is it? It's like a, like 12 o'clock or something. It's like midnight. Or no, it's actually like 1 something, I think. I don't know. It's really late. Um, I didn't realize how late it was getting. But I wanted to still do this anyways for you guys. So we're going to do the build anyways. And uh, so we got some other stuff. I'll be going over. The uh, Corsair HX850i is going to be our PSU here. Uh, it's the 80 plus Platinum Edition. Fully modular, as you can see there with the Corsair link. So that's good. Uh, 850 watts for anybody that wasn't able to catch that. Um, our motherboard is, we'll get to that in a little bit, but that's a gigabyte motherboard. The uh, Z370 series. Um, our CPU cooling is going to be the Corsair 115i cooling, water cooling closed loop. But we'll get to that when we get to that as well. But uh, yeah, so this is the back side here. I got to put some screws in here to secure the uh, bracket for the motherboard enclosed drive so how are you guys doing tonight happy Thanksgiving it's now Thanksgiving officially that went a hole I feel like it didn't a little bit difficult getting everything in line here. This side on first. It's because it's auto focusing. Uh, see if you can open up the Logitech thing and to turn off auto focus. Ooh.
Sorry about the autofocus, guys. We're gonna see if we can do something about that. So stand by. Pretty sure there's a setting somewhere for that. My roommate's looking into that while we continue. You don't know Thanksgiving in Australia? What do you have for... What do you guys have over there? I know Canada has, like, their Thanksgiving. It's like Boxing Day or something. Couldn't figure it out. It's it's nothing to do with the cables. It's the camera. You gotta yeah, tell it, it won't. It won't let me fix it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna switch real quick. We'll be right back, guys. We're gonna see if we can figure out that uh, that issue with the uh, camera focusing. Still here though. We just had to shut the camera off so that it would uh, able allow us to access the uh, stuff for it. Yeah, it's trying to focus on the light. We don't have a, a ton of lighting in here, and that might that's probably what it is, but there should be a way to turn off the autofocus to prevent it from constantly trying to focus like that. It would be in the, the camera setting. They go into the actual Logitech. Mad Max, thank you for the sub, bro. I don't know why that's on the side. It should be on top of that alert, but that's fine. Just kind of a basic setup for you guys today for alerts and stuff like that. So it's not going to be the usual alerts that you guys would normally see. So subs are going to have a uh, an alert sound and everything. What? I don't know why the view count's not updating. Yeah, I saw that too. Oh. Don't worry about the view counter, I don't know why it's not updating, but... Hey, focus is fixed. Is it? Awesome. And, uh, just, uh, hide the, uh... Uh, thing that says viewers on OBS. Hide that, no point in having it on if we're not actually making use of it. Um, so everything is secured here. So it has that nice and secured. Hopefully that's in the right alignment. So this is the back side. It's got uh, a fan here. I believe that's a... Might be a 140. No, it might be a 120. 120 or a 140. Uh, it has the built-in PSU attachment. It has a cable here. Uh, if you guys can kind of see that. So that plugs in so it kind of sits farther inside of the case. And then it's got our PCI slots and then our I.O. ports are right there. A little bit of dust on here, but that's all right. All right, so we're back up top here. Um, we're going to be... I got to get the motherboard I.O. port. I forgot to grab that. Uh, the I.O. tray is out, outside. Um, okay, so let me go grab that and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I got the I.O. ports in here. Oh, it has Velcro. Just come with Velcro straps. We have some Velcro straps for the Gigabyte Aorus uh, motherboard is what we're using. 
I'll show you guys that in just a second here. What is this? Oh, that's nice. It's got the little G connector. Makes cabling nice and easy. Got our M.2, which we're going to be putting that in. And then an SLI, which we don't need because we're not SLI. So we got our IO here, nice and black to go with the theme. That's nice. Yeah, it's the black and gray case. Uh, Fur was asking about the case. So it's got accent of the the gray silver around the edges here. Uh, they have one that's just straight all black, but I wanted to have the the accents. Okay. Let me know if there's like questions in the chat or something. Guys, have any questions? Oh. My roommate will be reading any questions you guys put in the chat, so I can't quite see it from where I'm standing. Or any comments, whatever. Um, I get this running over here. Inside there. Okay, so we're ready to mount our motherboard. this the thermostat the thermostat Randy oh yeah look at that temperature sensors I'll have to figure out let me go grab the the book so I can figure out where that's supposed to go Sorry that the music stopped, guys. You are being somewhat recently tonight. It crashed on us. Alright. So music stopped, guys. We're getting it back up here in a second. Um, let's see, looking at the manual here. Basic information, so we're going to go with DR4, 4.2, and 4.1. Okay. We're going to be doing the closed loop water cooling for the CPU. Well. Onboard LEDs and buttons. Uh, it's got an overclock button. Okay, so that's what that button is. Overclock. That one. Cool. Alright. What's up, Rexels, bro? Love seeing the sponsor squad in the chat there. These strip headers. SATA ports. M.2. Not to say to SSD PCI. I'll have to look at that in a little bit. All right, guys, I'm trying to read through everything so I make sure I'm doing everything correctly here. Hey, Randy, you want to look at this and see if you can find where the um. So let's see. Check the standoffs here. Make sure everything's nice and tight. 
I did have a build I was doing today at work where standoff was like really loose and all of a sudden stripped in. It's an AC temp temperature sensor headers. But, but where do we place it? Like, where are you supposed to like run it? You can uh, run them underneath like this or something to monitor CPU temperature, but you really don't need them. I never use them. They're for like if you do liquid nitrogen, you know, overclocking and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Then you can monitor the. Okay. All right. Uh, no worries, bro. You don't have any money to sponsor it. It's all good. So I'm also updating my MacBook on the side over here, and I'm not sure what it's doing. He was going to stream on that thing, but then it decided to update and take hours to do so. Yeah, so. so we decided to put it on my roommate's computer instead of my laptop. I don't. It's like in a screensaver mode, but it won't exit the screensaver mode. Um, okay, so fans there. Going to the fan controller. That's a nice, quiet fan right there. Oh, that's going to be nice. Okay, so I think we're ready to mount the motherboard. I was going to see if there was like a standoff uh, screw thing. Like, you no, know, like a little standoff, like, like, uh, shaped. Like it has a screw head adapter. Yeah. You can just do a screw in that way. Take the pl protective plastic off before we put this on. I can find the edge. So this is our motherboard here. While I try to find the edge of this plastic. There's an edge. Hey, my MacBook's finally booted up. It literally has been doing updating for like a couple hours. It's been ridiculous. I had it running OS X Yosemite before, for anybody that's familiar with OS X operating systems. And uh, I was excited. I was going to upgrade because, or update because the software for the streaming, the streaming setup that I have, was not compatible with Yosemite. It was too old. So I was like, alright, well I guess I have to update, and then it was like, no, we're just going to go super slow and just never update, and you're going to be stuck not having anything to work with. Hey guys, I upgraded the camera settings, let me know if that's good or if I need to change anything. Okay. Yeah, it looks better. Alright, so it looks like we got all the plastic off here. Let's go, it's got some LEDs. So it's got LED here, LED on the RAM slots, uh, LED on the PCI slots, and I think there's lights in here, maybe up here um, as well. We already got the CPU in there with the with the uh, thermal paste on top of it, ready to go. Uh, so we're running the i7-8700K, that's the unlocked edition. And uh, my roommate has delitted this and put better thermal paste inside of it. So you see we also got our bracket there on the back. Um, the improved uh, thermal paste will help with the cooling because especially with these newer models, the newer the last couple CPUs are very prone to running very hot. We want to make sure we have maximum cooling in place. There we go, so you guys can get a look at what the motherboard looks like in inside here. Got some nice room. It's actually got like the perfect amount of room for the PCI even if we moved it down. Um, grommets for water cooling. We're not doing water cooling, normal normal water cooling. We're just doing just the CPU water cooling. Uh, so we got our standoffs here for the CPU cooler. And uh, oh, it has a power button. Nice. So we got a power button and overclock button built in there. 
Um, and then I think that I don't know what the, I don't remember what those buttons were. But we've got plenty of buttons on here. We've got uh, a code display somewhere on here. I think I saw it down here at the bottom. Uh, the graphics card I'm going to be using the 1070. You can just talk normal if they have a question. Um, I'm going to be using my existing 1070 uh, for the Win 2 edition by EVGA. So that's what I'll be. I'm going to be pulling it out of my old build and sticking it in here. Mad wants to let you know that, that he made the best mod out there and he wants to let you Alright. Mod for what? I don't know what you're talking about. Is it mod for GTA 5? Probably. Uh, okay, so next. Put the PSU in next? Probably not, no. no we, these... we, we know you're not mad, Max. <laughs> Do these wires here. Everything's kind of like already pre-cable managed for a lot of this, so it helps uh, keep things nice and organized. So it's all ran through the back side of the motherboard casing here. So we really don't have to do much in terms of that. Oh, Rain, you want to look up what PWM cable is? Uh, PWM is that for like the fan? I don't know. I'm asking. Look at the look at the case book. Oh, here's here's the case book. Do a PWM case. Uh, it's the ca it's a oh, cable. It's a uh, PWM is usually a fan. It looks like a fan. It's a four, yeah, it's, it's a four. Yeah, pin. it's a four pin fan header. That's a PWM header for your fan hub. You want to connect that to one of the uh, fan headers on your motherboard. It'll report the uh, fan header will report back to your motherboard. Alright, let's stick that on this one here. System fans three. Yeah, that's a four pin PWM. Okay. Yeah. We got our USB 3.0. That's got two 3.0 ports there for two cables. Um, 3.0 is way up here. That might be an issue. Um, yeah, that's an issue. I don't think they really thought that one through all the way. So we're gonna have to figure out that part. I have to still nail this thing down. Um, I should probably do before start connecting things. Just leave them. If they if they do that, just leave them. Um, do do do. What do I want? I want motherboard screws, right? I want case. Mad Max says uh, he watched your J uh, EOJ streams. Okay, awesome, bro. Uh, let's see. Hold on, let me see the book. Case book. Let's see which screws we want for the motherboard. Motherboard mounting, rounded top, 632 long. Twelve of them. That looks like these ones. These don't look long though. Those are definitely SSD screws, so I guess it is these ones. Where was that manual screwdriver, Randy? That I was using.
Hilton, the end of the case. Missing a screwdriver. Okay. work. We'll try this one out. Yes, Mad Max, I do. In the microphone? Could be coming from the fan. I'll see if that helps, guys. That should be the only squeal, would be the one from that fan. Shouldn't be picking up anything else. about that guys this this was sort of a, a quickly put together setup we got here so apologies for any um this hats or whatever. yeah it should only be for this stream future stream shouldn't have any of the sound issues Yeah, it's probably the microphone picking up something, uh, because I have a noise gate, so it doesn't activate unless I'm talking. Looking at my head. <laughs> Who doesn't like looking at my head? Okay, so I need another two there. Just use. Oh. 
Is it chat should be showing up on the preview? In the dashboard window? Is there any chat showing up there? Make any sense? Not integrating correctly. Sorry guys, chat's supposed to be on screen and it's supposed to be showing the viewer count and it doesn't seem to want to work, so. We got the donation ticker going at the bottom, so. Thank you for all of the generous donors that we've had on the channel lately. Really helps because I'm gonna have to use all those donations to pay back the cost of this machine. There we go, guys. I got the chat working for you. What was it? It was just a bug. It was bugged. I had to refresh the cache. See if you can get the uh, viewer thing back up. Hey guys, right. I'm gonna back of my head for Viewer me. count is up and chat is working. What are your guys' plans for Thanksgiving? Let me know in the chat what you guys are planning on doing. Family, friends, whatever. Okay, so we got this nailed down pretty good. Pretty solid. Thank you, Mustafa, for the sub, bro. Okay. Um... I'm gonna have to figure out this USB 3.0 header issue. <clears throat> Look, if you can see, Randy, they put the header for the 3.0 like, like it's not really even long enough. Like it's oh, right, no. the header is right here, and it's like right there. You, know, you have to put it through one of those three rubber grommets. But it's already, it's like, it's already ran through underneath the motherboard oh, here. Oh, that's bad. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to really do that. Yeah, because it's not gonna reach. It, it doesn't allow you to get that cord out of there, though. I don't know, let's find out. I wish that door would stay closed. Uh, it's uh, zip tied together. Or not zip tied, uh, twist tied. Yeah, that's the only reason why I'm staying up late is because it's Thanksgiving night, or, you know, before Thanksgiving, so I don't got no work tomorrow, so I can stay up late and help my help my buddy here stream his, his PC build. So happy Thanksgiving to you guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, appreciate you guys being here. I know it's really late. Way later than normally where we stream. There we go. Mustafa, I'm not sure you can understand me, buddy, but we can't understand what you're saying, unfortunately. We, we don't speak that language. <laughs> yeah, sorry, buddy. It's in English only. What is he? Yeah, what what language is he speaking? It looks like Turk. I think he's asking if people speak Turk. No, uh, English only, bud. Mad Max is going to do Thanksgiving in GTA 5. There you go. That's how you do it. One way. Stick it through this grommet here. That should be good. Yeah. 
We're gonna try this G connector here. See if we can get everything connected this way. There was a PWM there. Get those out of the way first. Not even sure what to do with this SATA cable. This is like a straight up SATA cable. Like... I don't know where it's connected to. And you want to look in the book for this case? Um, the do you still have it or do I have it? Ah, oh, it's right here. Look at look for this SATA cable and see where it's supposed to go or what it's for. Because I don't know why there's a SATA cable coming out of this line. Okay. That might be to cover the. Oh, I probably have to connect it to the PSU. Probably where it is. Oh, you know what? That's probably the power connector for the fu the fan hub. No, oh, okay. I bet you anything that is the power connector. Okay, so power LED. Want yeah. it to be. Mad Max says he believes in you. Do it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Max. Get it done eventually. Yeah. Goes in there. Yeah, it is. Okay, here you go. There's a uh, power connector is data. So the PWM connector will be pulling the fan hub, and then the data connector power roll. Gotcha. HD lights. Power LED. There's a power button. Not a reset. Looking at this. Power on top and then set on bottom. Okay, there's one there, okay. Dumb and couldn't figure it out. Be fun if I wasn't do doing it wrong. What would be CI on a uh, like the panel yeah. on like the panel cables? What would be CI? Oh, book. Yeah, you know you like the reset switch, power switch, the LEDs. There's one called CI. Actually. I don't see any cables that would go into that. Birds for something. Doesn't say why. Uh, CI. There's a connect. Uh, 
buy you. That's the that's the cheap burger. The power, yeah, but it's not. Get eight hard drive LED. Yeah, no, front panels are always a pain in the ass. What's up, Code Zero Screens, bro? I was surprised to see you up this late or morning. I don't know. Okay. CI stands for what? Dash the intrusion? Oh! Okay, so that's that's right. I haven't I heard of that since like that. twenty years ago. Oh my god, I can't believe that has that. You know what that is, right? That's that that beep. It's like the twenty-year-old the computers, so if right? If somebody opens your case, it'll like go off. God, I haven't heard of that in like twenty years. <laughs> Honestly, like that was like the first computer I ever touched had one of those. And ever since then, I've never seen one. That is astounding. Um, I need speaker. More Velcro. Jack wants to know how much. No, don't ask those kinds of questions, Jack. Otherwise, you're gonna get timed out or banned. It's clearly stated in the stream rules. I don't know if I have a speaker on this. I don't think it came with a speaker cable. Where did that just go that I just put all this quick cable together? There we go. Alright, so no... No speaker, I guess. Fine. Um, no, uh, okay, this power LED. Interesting, there's two power LED slots. I love these little connectors that you that get that does it like all in one. I don't know if the music gets too loud or anything, guys. That's just kind of a casual stream tonight. Doing the build. Free to answer any, ask any questions uh, within reason. I'll try to answer them for you guys. Jack's uh, Discord link is in the description below. Uh, Code Zero can probably put it in the chat. 
There you go. He's on top of it. Good man. USB. I hate when these come out, the HD audios come with the 97 audio. Because then it's just like you have nowhere to put it and you just have an extra cable just sticking out. I hate those. <laughs> Luckily this doesn't have that. Uh, you want to look at the motherboard book in here and see which slot's best for the M.2. I imagine it's going to be this top one, but actually that's probably where I'm going to put it. It's got the Actually, they're all good. It's got the heatsink cover. They're all they're all um full, full speed. Okay. Uh so let's see. Well, let me go grab the RAM or bear back. Yeah, we're from California. We're uh, we're in San Diego. So I'm using my roommate's RAM until mine comes in. As you guys may have seen on Twitter, I didn't quite get it in yet. It's coming next week. So for the sake of now, we're gonna be using the Corsair uh, DDR4 3200 Classic Dominator Platinum. The nice ones. So my roommate let me borrow them out of his computer until mine come in. Oh, those sit tall. Sorry, guys, I'm trying not to be like right in front of the camera, but sometimes I gotta get right over it. Uh, let's see. We got that in. I have a SATA for the PSU when that's put in. Oh, mic's not unmuted, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Just did an update on my controller over here. Um, let's see. I think we're ready to get the PSU in. Unless we, you think we should put in the CPU cooler first? Oh, we have to take the top off for that, don't we? Um, wait, put the PSU in? The cooler. Oh, the cooler? Let me put the, I'm gonna put the PSU in first, cause yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll just that. leave it without cables for now. That was me, guys. I had a glimpse of his friend. <laughs> I'm not sure how the Corsair Link's gonna work, though, with this. Oh, well, well, I guess it'll be fine. Well. <laughs> hey, code. <laughs> Don't put me on camera. Huh? Put me on camera. On camera? No, don't. <laughs> I look like crap. That's my gaming computer. He's got one. I'm helping him his. Good to meet you guys.
real pain in the ass. Not sure how to. Not sure how to screw this thing in. Uh, power supply? I think you might have to take that bracket out. Really? That's a huge. Yeah. Like major difficulty level. Looks like your looks like your brother's computer. Yeah, I worked I worked pretty hard on my computer, so I take pride. No, we can't we can't do that. What? What's wrong? You can't take it out. But you can't take it. How are you well, supposed to get you, it? You can't take it out and then put it back in with the PSU attached. Okay, so there's some way to put that in there. Then, um, does the back come out like? Yeah, I think it can. Did you reach the screws on the back, maybe? Yeah, it can. I just didn't really want to take it out. Hey, guys. Well, I'll say hi to you again. There's screws on both sides. <laughs> Stripping it. I am not actually a part of of uh, his. He is in my room right now because his computer has been a lot of trouble with streaming and crashing and stuff. So he got new parts for Friday sale, and uh, he's now building his new computer uh, so that he can play games and stream without a problem. Hopefully, get back to the GTA Five. Yeah. DOJ Five M. That's what's been giving me issues lately. And obviously that's what you guys want to see the most. <laughs> and I know that. I would love to get back to that because uh, that, I miss it. That drill he's used is a DeWalt. It's uh, a small drill. It's perfect for like working with and stuff. Uh, if you guys, uh, if you want, I can that for you. Let me know. Oh really? Your dad sells DeWalt machines? That's cool. That's pretty awesome. Uh, the song we are playing... Oh! Uh, sorry guys. Just crashed on me. It was doing that for, with me for a while, but then it stopped doing it. Yeah, back up what you guys are saying, because right now I don't see uh, So I apologize. Stupid Chrome problems. <laughs> Dude. 
Uh, I don't like him either. No copyright sounds, they can look it up on their own. Here, I'll link you the, the name. Question. See this right here, the song that is currently playing. American, what is it? What is exactly does that mean? I mean, oh, delayed. That makes sounds like Macy Keith. <laughs> uh, turn that down a little bit. Turn it down in uh, YouTube a little bit. It's too loud in YouTube. There you go. Is, are you talking about the computer he's building, Jax? The screw won't come out. Grab screw, it doesn't come out. Oh. Stronger magnet to these things out. out they got the PSU mount so this is what that looks like so it attaches on the back there so it's got the panel and then it runs a cable inside of it uh, so that way it could be like more stationed anywhere it's not has it doesn't have to be flush with the back of the case here like normal computers would all right now that we got that out Let's flip this one. I don't like that this thing opens so easily. He should be catching. Uh, his old computer basically was giving a bunch of troubles, including in GTA 5 it was crashing. So, uh, for Black Friday, he's basic got basically all new parts. Building himself a new computer. To hopefully fix all these problems he's having. Better streaking. So, uh, yeah, might be able to get better quality stuff going. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. System, good. We're gonna be faster, too. So Tristan says good. hi. What's up, Tristan? Okay, PSU. Yeah, no, we're not building a MacBook Air. <laughs> yeah, can you tell this is this is the new MacBook Air 2019 <laughs> edition? <laughs> The new slimmest model that's on the market right now. Doesn't get any slimmer than this. Uh. I need to want to stand this up. G Gaming. The about G Gaming? Oh, it's LJ Gaming. Little pink. 
quite get all four screws in there, I don't think. Um, need a case. Screws. I had case screws for the... Oh, well, PSU. welcome to your first stream, Jackson. I'm happy that you decided to join us. First stream, Jackson? I feel like I've seen, I've seen you in the name before. It's your first stream, bud? PSU screws. LJ Gaming wants to know what kind of graphics card you're gonna. Uh, 1070. Yeah, there. It's actually the same graphics card I have in my. We've got some cool emblems that we'll be putting on the case with it. Powered by Corsair. Take care, Al. Have Gigabyte a good Gaming night. and stuff like that. Was leaving Al? Yeah. Alright, oh, see you later, Ali. Bring it out, bro. No, we're not. We're not brothers, but I guess you could say we do look like it, huh? <laughs> oh. Somebody. <laughs> Somebody thinks we're brothers. No, I'm actually his roommate. Oh, thank you for the uh, new subscription. Rolando. Roland GT. Rolando GT. Bro. Everybody thinks that we're brothers. Y'all need to get your eyes checked. <laughs> See if we can find a clinic that does free Thanksgiving eye, eye exams. Well, I'll tell you what, American Jackass, if you're looking for a good router, I would look at the Asus routers. They're pretty solid. If you... Shopping now? <laughs> asking advice for parts. Oh, Jackson, yeah, Jackson says he thought, he thinks he was disco. That's probably where you saw him. But it was a long time ago. Huh? Well, why'd you leave the Discord? That's the real question. He's back now, but... Zero, what's what's going on? Why are you telling people out for? Oh, what do you? Uh, the uh. The... I mean, Without removing more stuff. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. Three is fine. Oh, there's two sensors. Okay. Welcome, the gaming cube. Hello, gaming cube. I don't think I could say the rest of your name. You actually have a pretty long name there. The gaming cube. T T scroll two three five. Where did you? Where? Why did you make such a long name? Happy Thanksgiving, Stinky!
Ben can't wait for DOJ fire. Alright, boy. <laughs> Trust me guys, I miss doing it just as much as you guys miss seeing The gaming cube loves your fire and rescue. Awesome bro, glad you guys like that. You know, some people have been asking for more fire rescue stuff. I'm, I'm gonna do it all. You know, people asking for civilian stuff, fire stuff. I'll get around to it all guys. I swap it out every once in a while. Uh, Code Zero left you an admin chat on. Alright bro, sounds good. Let's see. There's less thing. And go. And I had an extra bracket in there. Stick it back in there. Ah, stupid door. I swear to god, this is gonna be a problematic door. It seems like nobody can ever make a good door. Nobody ever makes good PC doors. They're always They're always really tacky or really broke. That light go, Randy. Yes, sir. The light. Light? Oh, oh, it should be in there. Oh. Yeah. I got a little, uh, little light I got from Costco. It's, uh, it's battery powered. It's actually really powerful. If you, if you look there on the, uh, on the, if you look up there on the screen when he's using it, it's perfect for building computers and Welcome to our stream, Constant Constantine Brown, if I'm saying that correctly. If I just butchered it, I am sorry. Butchered it. <laughs> butchered it. Oh, screw just disappeared. Now I hear it. There Welcome it to the chat, Officer 1K29. Found the screw. Oh, what do you call it? An ethic? Yeah. Fucking door. <laughs> it's like masking tape or something. Do I have masking tape? Yeah, so yeah, like yeah, I do. Tape I have this uh, door shut. I have blue tape. So. Uh, -huh. uh, will this work? Really? Anything will work. Oh, I don't want to use that. Um, I want something lighter. Hold on guys, I'll get to your chat. 
Zach, and I'm sorry to hear you have to work at 2 a.m. tonight as a security guard. Wow. Why are you yelling? Modern technology ready to yell. Huh? You don't need to yell. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Officer 1K says, you're the best you Thanks, bro. It's open right now. Get some food ordered. Randy, what do you think is open right now? Right now? Uh, the night before Thanksgiving. Any idea, guys? What would be open right now? Let us know in the chat what you think. Didn't need dinner. Dinner? That I didn't eat dinner. So you didn't eat dinner? How? Oh. Oh, you must be hungry. Yep. Hey, you're, I have a protein shake. Really up. That's not real food. I want food. <laughs> God fucking. Officer wants to know how you join Dispatch for DOJ. That's it. Sign up when application's open.
in the fucking hole. Kobe Vape Lord. <laughs> Should that be my streaming name as Vape Lord? I don't know. That's that, uh. How about that? Well, personality, I definitely have. I don't mind embarrassing them. am here thank you again guys for joining us for this stream We're gonna open M.2 960 Pro, guys. 512 gigabyte. This is gonna be our main OS drive for this build. I know 512 is a lot, but I have a lot of stuff that I normally run, and uh, I need the space. May not need it right now, but I'm going to down the line, and it's easier just to have it done now than to get it later. I probably didn't need to pull this out yet, actually. Stick that there. Probably. Uh, he wants to know, Weasley would like to know what do you had before that you Uh, GPU is the one I'm going to be using. It's the 1070. I'm going to be sticking with it just because there's no need to upgrade that. Um, CPU was a 4th generation i7 4770K. And so, it was basically the almost top of the line of 4th gen. There's the 4790 was the next one, top of the line consumer model. Forty-seven ninety came out shortly after I built my computer. Got a uh, sticky. Oh, it's got a uh, heat uh... Cal or Kale. Kevin, what's going on, bro? Thank you for the sub. So, this is the panel that's going to be covering our M.2 here. 
Got some sort of sticky padding. I don't know for some heat dispersal or whatever. Um, but it should help a little bit. Got our M.2 here. We'll stick that there. Officer Fluffles, if I said that right, says hi. What's up, bro? Your name? If I said that right. Or if I didn't. Alright, sorry, you're gonna see my head again. So I need the screw now. Officer 1K would like to know when you joined DOJ. Uh, 2015, October 18th to be exact. Only reason I remember is because I recently passed the two year mark. I have my two year service stripes. Welcome to the stream, Tyrant y Yankee. Right? Tyrant? Is it hot in here? I said that the fan wasn't. AC on for a little bit? Uh, sure. Right back. Kick the AC on, it's starting to get a little warm. I think it might be the lights that are above me. Yeah, that are bringing the heat. Well, those are LEDs. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure what's causing heat. What is this for? I'll uh, turn down the other uh, What do you think this is for? I think this is for. What about it? Is it AC? What could that be for? That looks like it's standoff. Or something. But it's got a screw tip on it. Yeah, I think that's so you can tighten it down easily without, like, Oh, actually, get like so screwing in the stand off and doing yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's actually kind of nice that they did that. I mean, did it just come with that one? Yeah, it came with the M.2 screw. Oh, oh, you know what that's for? Uh, okay, so there's different sizes of M.2s. There's like small, right. medium, and large. Right. And not all the holes there have the standoff on them for the M.2s. That's what they're for. Oh, so I need the standoff in there. Uh, if, if, no, you have the longer one, so it'll fit on that third peg out. See that third peg out? Right, but there's not a standoff here. There? It's... Yeah, then you need to put one there if it's got a spot for it. I don't, I don't push it down against the motherboard? No, 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 no. It needs to be screwed down on the tip. Because there's a standoff that uses this cover. This cover has a standoff. Oh! So do I just not yeah, need, do no, I just that, not need one? That'll work, yeah. No, if it, if it holds it down, that'll work. Okay, so I just don't need one. Yeah. Thanks, LJ Gaming. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, bud. Oh yeah, Tyrant, I'm sorry about that. It was getting a little hot in the room, so probably what you're hearing is the AC in the background. So, I apologize for that if that's in the background. Maybe only picking up when you talk. Shouldn't be picking up anything else. Well, it's it's when you talk, I think. It's oh, I'm sorry guys, it's a little hot in here. Yeah, and this is a temporary setup. It's actually in my room right now. Because I think we can put the SSD on now. 
Jackson is talking about red versus blue. Oh. What about it? Old uh, Halo. I, I remember those. The red versus blue Halo episodes. Yeah. There's been a bunch of red. But yeah, what about it, Jackson? What's up? Well, there's only one real creator of that. That's true. Okay. Go for SSD bracket here so we can... Count the SSD to this bracket here. As I said earlier, we're using the Samsung A50 Evo VNAND SSD here. There you go. See that in the stream there. 500 gigs. So we'll get another space. Use this for like couple of the priority games like GTA and stuff or maybe like for editing and stuff like that use it as scratch disc or something got a blade and Jackson, you Jackson is asking how did we become friends <laughs> uh, through other people you have a blade Randy a blade yes yeah. I've, I've got a friend who knows him, and uh, I met him through him. Uh, My other roommate. Yeah, yeah, his other roommate. So this room opened up, and I... case this is uh it's uh be quiet 900 pro yeah oh yeah sorry i'm a little farther away from the mic so Sorry if I'm cutting out. I'll try to speak a little bit higher so the mic doesn't cut me out. But yeah, it's the Dark Pace, Dark Base Pro 900. It's actually a really nice case. It's got a lot of sound dampening and, uh, well, it's got everything, really. It's other portray is modular. The, really nice. Everybody's following me on Twitter. Uh, we're also so we're working on doing cryptocurrency mining, so that's also running in here while we're doing test runs, trying to get some stuff working. Yeah, that's that's primarily what's creating all the heat in my room right now. <laughs> if you guys want to see the the mining or temporary mining rig, let me know. I'll I'll show it to you. You don't want to see it as a mess, huh? They don't want to see it. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. It's it's a prototype right now. We have we have a proper mining case coming eventually. Okay, so we got the SSD mounted here, sort of. I just had to put screws in it. Stick it back on. These screws here, I believe. Yep. Looks about right. And again, I could be way off. 
I like to open. Good bag ripped. No, it's definitely not these. Throw these over this bag is ripped. Yeah, no, we have it. There's a there's a, some background noise here, so we have the mic uh, set to basically turn off when it, whenever nobody's talking. Trying to at least. That's why you can't hear it all the time. Jackson followed you. On uh, Twitter, or uh, on Twitter, I assume, bro. If so, thank you, or whatever. Medium, I guess. Thank you. You guys want? So I might as well plug it while I'm right here. Uh, I'm trying to get back on on Twitch a little bit. I know some people have been asking about that, and I started streaming with another streamer, uh, part time, doing a little bit of uh, casual, maybe late night stuff. Um. If you guys are interested in that, and you guys, or you guys are on Twitch or whatever, uh, it's you know same name, Mr. JW, Twitch.tv slash Mr. JW. You guys can go slap a follow, whatever uh, code zero. You can probably put it in the chat. Um, go ahead and you know jump over there and follow on Twitter, guys. On Twitch, I'm sorry, and Twitter. Um, but follow on Twitch. And then I'll be doing occasional streams, more casual stuff. It's not not really going to be DOJ stuff. Um, last few, last couple times we've been doing like farming simulator, and uh, so just kind of hanging out with a handful of people, doing some casual stuff. We're playing some other games in the future and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. I've kind of been interested in doing farm sim lately, so. And I saw that uh, he was doing that, so I reached out to him and had to get on with him. And uh, yeah, so we've been doing a couple game sessions. Jackson says I should be streaming <laughs> more. I don't think that's gonna happen. This is only temporary. So we got the SSD fully mounted on this bracket. Now we can stick it back in here and put it down onto the thing here if it wants to work.
I probably should have mounted it the other way. Fuck. Yep, definitely should have mounted it the other way. <sighs> Rip. Says your S A H live stream. Oh yeah, you guys like that? That was just that wasn't really me 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 really doing anything even. I'm glad you guys like that. I'll try to do another uh, ride along with uh, one of their air units soon. If once I get back in, obviously. So I wasn't really thinking about the layout when I was putting mounting bracket on. Thinking that the cables up here need to be on this end. James, uh, James Lyon says he lives in Riverside, and he's really close to us. Oh, I know people closer than that. I almost just put it back on the same direction wrong again. Oh, uh, I, I, I misspelled your. So code, uh, code zero, um, basically corrected it for me, and uh -oh. then he misspelled something, it was like, Good. damn it! 10 out of 10, guys. <laughs> Alright, we'll get dictionaries for everybody in their stockings for Christmas. <laughs> get all my moderator's dictionaries. Oh. This is mounting bracket, like, not really fitting. We gotta face in the right way this time. That says crying laughing. I'm crying out of embarrassment of my moderators that can't spell. <laughs> Alright though, bud, love you. Alright, I'll just get Evan to replace you, Code. Don't worry about it. I'm sure Evan would uh, like the promotion. <laughs> you say? Uh, Fearzy? Uh, F-E-A-R-Z-Y? I don't even know how to say that. <laughs> he said he said he'll give you a computer if you start smashing that one. <laughs> uh, I don't think. I don't think he wants to smash something he just spent a ton of money on. Yeah, give me about two grand and I'll smash it. I'm not gonna smash his computer. I don't care what you say. I no. No, 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 no. Oh, 
lot of tools and objects at my disposal over here. I don't think he'd make it. Uh, oh wait. Okay. They'd be afraid. That's probably. <laughs> Alright, SSD is mounted. Alright. One step in the right direction. So I think we're ready for the CPU cooler. Oh, my feet are hurting. I'm standing. Uh, you got the... where's the radiator? Alright guys, so this is our Corsair H115i closed loop water cooled CPU. CPU water cooler. It's got a 280 millimeter radiator on top here, or which will be going on top. Uh, and then the CPU cooler right there. Yeah. Need to flip this thing over first. And then we've got two. 140 millimeter fans here that'll be going on the radiator to keep it cool. So any anything needs to be done with this before I stick it on. Um, is the thermal paste okay on the CPU? Probably. The little dot. Yeah. I flattened a little bit, but yeah, it'll be fine. You can mount it straight. So. Probably want to mount it. Which way do you think is best to mount it? Uh, you think it should be like that, or yeah. or like that? Well, like that, the fan's gonna get in the way. So, right, so like that. Yeah, I would say like that. So like that, essentially. Yeah. Got to take the top off here. You can also ask us to do what they think. I don't care what they think. Oh. They're not building the computer. This should just pop off. Uh, oh, wait, you said there was clips, right? Alright, so this is the top down view. You see this panel comes off here. Top panel has the sound dampening right here to help reduce the noise of fans and other things, other components that make noise. Uh, we have our, our front panel right here. The USB ports, uh, power button, 
headphone jack, mic jack, and USB. So we're going to mount our radiator up here. And then have fans underneath here. Doing that and then going into the CPU right here. Um, where was the uh, mounting stuff? Brackets, uh, screws, or anything, Randy? Again? Screws and stuff for this. Um, So essentially, the radiator is going to sit up here like this to keep it cool. Uh, it's, here. It, it's the big screws. They're big screws. Sure. I think you threw some stuff back in the box. It's not even a screw, Randy. What do you mean? Not a screw. A hole. Yeah, but where am I gonna put that? So you put the you put the the heat sink. No, I'm on? talking about for the radiator. Oh that. Screws for the radiator. Yeah, it's those ones right there. So you wanna put the fans underneath there and then you put it straight through the fan up into the radiator. Okay. Which way should I mount these fans? Maybe. Where should I mount the fans? Uh, so on here, right here, yep. it's got the door. Air closed. Which? So for this one, uh, you want it to blow in. So like. Pop up, stick her down. Like that? Yeah. Other way. What's the other The arrows on it? Gotcha. Okay. So. What do you? What would you say for the best place to put these at? I would put it. I would put the over. That middle bar isn't gonna really affect the. You think the all the way, way back, back here? That's perfect. Okay. And then put the two fans. Just the long ones? Yeah. Yeah, they go through the fan into the top of the radiator. Make sure to use a washer on the... You don't have to use it on the top. Use the washer on the bottom so the screw doesn't go through the fan. So on this part? Yeah, exactly. That's 
where you want the washer. That'll help distribute the pressure around the around the hole. I've never done closed loop water cooling on my CPU, that's why I'm asking Randy to help me out with this because I'm no expert. I will not pretend to be an expert on this. Oh, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. What's that? Getting all this in? Oh, yeah, that always is. First time's the hardest. Gotta figure everything out step by step. Problem. <laughs> Any oh. Good problem here? I think I, ha I don't think I can mount it that far back. <laughs> what, what's wrong? I don't think I can mount it as far back as I thought I could. Oh, I see. I had to put it on these upper brackets because otherwise the lower brackets aren't in the holes.
a shout out for a like spike. We gotta do a like spike. I don't have that on the thing. I don't have my like spike set up, guys. If you guys want to do a like spike, you can just go put hashtag like spike in the chat, guys, and slide that like button. But I don't have the video set up for that. I'm not on my rig. Beasley says I'm 69 years old, apparently. <laughs> I feel like this is something I should have done before putting the motherboard in. What's that? Setting this radiator up. Um. Ah, that could have gone either way. Getting it in there is gonna be rather difficult. Tightening them down. Yeah, sorry guys, again, this is only a temporary setup, so he doesn't have all of his stuff set up. Uh, he's basically using my computer to stream right now because his computer's out of order. Well, it's not out of order, it's just not in here. It doesn't work very well, and That's he fun. really needs this one to be up and running because this new one will at least give him something that'll be stable. It sounds like my thing's a piece of shit. Oh my god, I haven't heard of 8-bit brand motherboards in so long. I remember those things. I had uh, an 8-bit motherboard back on AMD... God, what was it? I loved it. 8-bit was great back in the day. I don't know what happened to them. They just kind of disappeared off the planet. All right, one fan in. Are the radiators secure? I'm just gonna get the other fan in. Yeah, that's probably the fan. Beasley wants to know if if you got if you show show the uh, streamers the new rig when it's up and running. Uh, what do you guys mean? Show you it when it's up and running? Like maybe uh, point your webcam at it. I'm guessing. Probably upload a picture on Twitter or something. So just make sure you guys are following me on Twitter. Usually where I would post stuff like that.
do, I guess. Kind of a mess. I wouldn't show it, but... All right, fans are in. And we want to put the actual cooler on. Oh, you're just wiping it off? Yeah. 
Yeah, I already cleaned off the, the, uh... Oh, I am tired. I am... I think all the words... Anyway, the, 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 the thermal base. There you go. Okay, don't worry, you won't break those two. They're pretty tough. You can torque them pretty good. Which bracket should I be putting these on? Which bracket? There's like, there's two holes. Uh, it, it should only fit in one hole. What she said. Okay. Um, you gonna hand me those screws, Randy? Oh, they're right up there. They're right underneath that bag. That looks like I only got one hand here. I'm holding this down. What do you think a max of one on this? I think that's enough. Huh? A one torque, you think that's enough for these? Um, I should go more torque. Uh, put it at least. Actually, go about getting water into this. You don't. It's already filled with water. It's an AIO. It's all. It's all ready to go. Uh -huh.
see, we've got CPU fans, another SATA port. Hey, I want to know your elite ARM or become a bounty hunter. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that, bud. I don't really know what you're talking about. How it relates to anything. Um, any of these fan? Controllers, where yeah. do these go in? Are... Okay, so those are where your CPU fans will be plugged in. Those will be able to fan through the uh, Corsair Link. Okay, but what what goes into it? Okay, so the the one connector there. Oh, the these fans? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then the one header there. Plugs into the CPU header, and that's how the motherboard can tell that. Actually, you know what? Let me see if you have an AIO port, because some other boards these days actually have a port that you can plug just the AIO in, so it knows it's a, an AIO cooler. CPU fan and the CPU optional. I'm seeing the man. Yeah, no, it doesn't. So just plug it in the CPU fan. American. MR. Yeah, James, I'm not sure how to answer that for you, bud. Is that supposed to be missing a pin? It only has two? Well, it's only a, it's, well, I guess it's a four pin header, so it's got three out of four on one of them. That's fine. Yeah, the fans don't need to directly report to, um, water because, uh, Corsair Link. And down here. What do you think would be the best way to run this? Uh, the CPU... The fans. Fans? Where are you, uh, thinking about running them? Well, I wanted to put the cables behind. Behind the board. And through so. the... Uh, so no, I, I would... You know what? Here, Just but... keep the cables going back and then route the cables for the cooler just straight up and back. That would be the way I could think. Because the cable would cross the, the RAM, you know? Right. Usually what I do is I stuff the cable behind one of the bolts and that keeps, like, here. Your power. There you go. 
go. See, look at the front. Looks good. Well, this fan needs to be in the front for the CPU. That one here. So that one you can just, uh, like, use a zip tie to kind of wind up the cord and kind of tuck it in. And have to come back. back in the See how I have the, the wires tucked behind the bolt and then hang around the VRM? That one wire came out, so I'll have to be behind that. Gem videos. Hey bro, love your work. Yep. Eden says hello and happy Thanksgiving to all my friends. Oh. What's up, Aiden? Doesn't stay tucked. Yeah, when when you when you actually zip tie them all down, it, they will. You have to you have to put them, a little bit of tension on them from the back. Keep them tucked in. I think DP the ram back. Let's mount the LED strips.
All right, so we got our LED strips here. So basically, we have two strips that we're gonna stick into the case here to help illuminate it. Because this is gonna be a tempered glass cover here, which is off to the side here that you guys can't really see yet. So before we started the stream, we took the tempered glass case off, adjusted the position of the motherboard mounting the back plate. We could have it in alignment with what we were thinking would be best. That's pretty much all you guys missed before the stream. Now it's downloading everything to get this stream set up. <laughs> uh, let's see. So one's going to go on top for sure. One here. And probably what? One in the front, you think, Randy? Uh, yeah, like one on the... No. Like in the front panel there? One this way and then one this way? Or do you think one in the bottom? I would think one on the bottom to accent your blue power supply, you know? One, one on the bottom and one on the top, I think. Uh, oh. Side to side, that would actually work. That. So like here and then here? Yeah. Top and bottom. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, it looks like from here the Good, the sticky's already off of this one. Seriously? No. It's actually missing the entire uh I've got some it's missing the 3M pad. Here you go. Yeah, there's yeah. only very little strips of this because literally if you use too big of a strip, you will not get this off. <laughs> that stuff is Aiden says he should he should get his uncle to play DOJ as a firefighter. He would be a fire he would be a fire chief quick.
I'm trying to get the uh, tape off of the LED strip pads here so we can mount this. It's just being a pain because they always are like one of these things. Supposedly, I should be able to plug these into the controller in the back. My assumption is they'll be able to be used in the system. Welcome, typical own vlogs. Friggin' on camera right now. Like, how much more reveal can you get? <laughs> ask dumb questions, guys. Really late. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, that's it. Need a power for this one. Tucked in there. Another power somewhere in here. On here. Tactical own gloves. What's going on, bro? I am exhausted. Alright, we'll take a short break, guys. We'll be back in a few minutes. I'm gonna grab some drink. I'll see you guys in a little bit. you to jump like you trying to get stuck in the air make you feel so late and don't care shorty need in the face in the mirror up in the air i want you to jump 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 up in the air i want you to jump Don't leave our stream, he's coming back, don't worry. I'll ask him a 
about the Q&A sport.
All right, guys, we're back. I'm gonna try to finish this up here. We're just gonna finish up the build tonight, and then we'll work on uh, fine tuning and installation tomorrow or the day after. So, pretty much the main thing you only have really left is power, uh, and that's running the power from the PSU to everything else. Let's see, let's this one. Um, somebody mentioned something about q and I mean, feel free to ask any questions, guys, that you guys have. I'll answer any reasonable questions. Favorite game that I play? Um, I guess, I mean, doing the DOJ stuff is probably most of my favorite thing to do. Um, outside of that, I really don't even know. I, I really don't have favorite things. That's. I don't really have favorite games, that's the thing. I don't really have favorite anything. Not really a guy that has favorites. Some things I like more than others, but I don't really have favorites in anything. Um, realistically, it's just any game I can have fun in. I enjoy. No, I don't, I'm not really one to take games too seriously, uh, with some minor exceptions. Oh my god, no. Asks, what's your favorite OJ car? Uh, out of our new pack, um, I would say... Probably the Explorer. The slick top, unmarked Explorer or something. Always a good one. Um, what was I doing? It's like there is Velcro, that's what I was looking for. Um, really just depends on what I'm in the mood for. Yeah, um, a lot of really great YouTubers out there. I really can't say that I have one favorite. Pretty much any YouTuber that can make me laugh 
and I can enjoy their content uh, is good in my book. Can you name five favorites? But I don't think you really have a favorite thing. I mean, I can name five channels that I like. I, I mean, I wouldn't say any of them are like top five favorite or anything like that. Um, Markiplier, um, Rooster Teeth, and most of their subsidiaries. Um. Trying to think, I really, I don't really watch too many people right now, just because I don't have time. Uh, Jack Septic guy is always good. Um, no, I can't really think of anybody else off the top of my head. I mean, I, I really don't watch much YouTube, honestly. Um, I haven't really been like up to date on the latest content and stuff and what people are putting out. Really, right now, my main thing that I've been watching is just Rooster Teeth, really, and all their subsidiaries like Achievement Hunter. Um, that's really what I've been watching, pretty much. I love when they put out like Minecraft episodes or um, some of the GTA stuff's pretty funny. Um, not really a fan of like their shooter games that they've been doing like Rainbow Six and stuff like that I'm not really a fan of those gameplays just because I kind of find shooters a little bit boring nowadays we have two other questions uh, officer says do you like a job at subway or a maid and tactical own asks same do you like 911 operate uh, I don't know what the hell the first question is talking about so I'm gonna skip that uh, 911 Operator, yeah, it's a good game. Played that uh, a little bit. Got a couple streams on that. Dalen asks, how much time have put into DOJ? Two years. How long have I been there? I don't know what officer is doing here, but he says, would you rather like to live in a toilet or on top of a roof? I'm not going to answer retarded questions. Sorry, bud. Keep the questions kind of serious, guys. It is way too late for stupid questions. It is like four in the morning, guys. I should be in bed. Randy should be in bed. I have to get up in the morning, kind of. So. Yeah. Asks, what is your hobby? Playing hobby. Playing video game. <laughs> 
Do I need two CPU cables for this? Where does this go, Randy? The uh, Corsair link? Uh, one of your USB headers. So, I only have one header available. August, or uh, Randy? I only have one USB header available. It only comes with two, and there's a front panel. Most only come with two. Yeah, that's I mine came headers now. If I had to get that. Um, for now, I would just uh, at least plug in your pump. Your pump on Because that's the most power supply can run it, so we need. They'll both work. You can you can use the same cable for both. How would you recommend running this? Uh, if you oh, it plugs in right there. Plugs in here, and my USB header is right below it. And I can run it to the side here. I would do that. Run it into the side, and then have it come out where the power supply cable. If you had a choice, what would you have? A cat or a dog? Dog. Officer asks, have you ever played Minecraft? Yep. Corsair? Is that not an L one? It goes off to the side, like no. that, it just goes straight. Yep. I think I ended up buying an L one, and then that kind of helped. Not like the cable they but they find it later. You can show me it. Tactical says dogs all day. Am I right, Dub? Let's go. Did you see any Molex cables that need to be plugged in? No, I think I think because you have a SATA powered uh, fan controller. No, I don't think you have any. Or uh, Molex. Connection. So I don't think I should really showed you guys this side of the the I/O ports here. You can see top here we have a couple of the USB 3 DAC up USBs uh, I don't really know I don't know off the top of my head what DAC up means it's just a, it's a special port I uh, got the PS2 
keyboard mouse port. I don't know why they still make these. Uh, HDMI, I think that's display port. USB 3.0, it has type C USB as well, so 3.1. Um, another 3.0 and then a 3.1, but it's not C. So I don't never see a 3.1 not C. Um, and then it's got dual uh, LAN gigabit ethernet ports and then uh, six channel whatever that is whatever you would call that audio configuration there standard pretty much all right so uh i see i'm sorry if i don't know how to say your name says hey man love your vids who inspired you uh hold on who inspired you to do YouTube, and what made you find J-O-B-R-P? Uh, I think you mean D-O-J-R-P, um, and, uh, uh, what made I, what made me want to do YouTube? I mean, I've wanted to do YouTube for a long time. It was just never have anything, having a system good enough to do it for a long time. And then eventually when I was able to get a good enough system, and that's when I pretty much started. Um, doing DOJ, I was in another group before DOJ that uh, disbanded. Uh, and so I was recommended to DOJ by uh, another big YouTuber at the time. He's still fairly large, I would say. Um, and uh, he recommended it for me. So I said, sure, why not? I'll give it a shot. And uh, that's where I've been ever since. Code asks, Josh, do you still speak Samsung? Uh, yeah. Talk to him all the time. Uh, Moto said, Hey Josh, woke up and just watched this stream. How much did that cost? Because I'm looking for one so I can join Gojek. Uh, way too much. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend buying this. Can spend far less and be just as fine. Tactical asks, not sure what this means. Would you rather have Gator M11 operator? I don't know what that means either. P A T O R? I don't know. I think that sounds like a typo. Uh, Weasley asks, what was your first gaming GPU? Um, my first one was the one before my 1070, which was a 650 Ti overclocked edition. That was my first gaming GPU. That was what I originally bought with my first build. Because uh, I didn't have much money at the time. And that was a decently powerful card for its time. At least enough to play DOJ and uh, GTA 5 and all that, so. Uh, H-A-O-T, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name, but he asks, what kind of PC or PC specs should I have to join GTA? Uh, basically, I would go look at what GTA 5 requires or what they recommend. Um, anything, basically just what GTA 5 recommends, that's what I would get. Anything more than that's unnecessary. So just get recommended specs, not minimum specs, but recommended specs, uh, and you should be fine.
Moderator will take care of it. So oh, Blinky asks where your old rig is. It's still hooked up. Which my graphics card is still in there, so I won't be connecting that today. Um, so basically, we're just about done here for tonight. Um, just gonna finish connecting out the power and everything. And then we'll do a little test boot. Make sure everything is running. Uh, make sure we get some good signals and then uh, that should pretty much be it for tonight I think we're and I think we're pretty much done I'm just gonna run through stuff here make sure everything is hooked up like my liking What's up, Rusty? Would you ever want to travel to Australia, Dub? If I had the money, I would. I actually know a YouTuber in Australia. Oh, a couple of them, actually. Um, but one of them that I'm more familiar with, uh, Chronodoc CC Gaming. He's a pretty cool dude. Make sure you check him out. Any of you Aussies. I hear some fuzz in the I hear some white noise. What is that? Okay, so I think we're good to go. I think everything's connected. Shouldn't have put that on this side. I should have put it on the other side. I should can maybe. There we go. There we go. I think everything's connected. Let's put the top back on here so we got a radiator all hooked up. Should be good to go. Get in there. Get in the frickin' slots. <laughs> oh, we had a, uh... If you guys got any more questions, now's the time to ask them as we're wrapping up here.
question. Are you asking me if I was playing? Question for Dub. Uh, will he ever play Elidens? And if he does, will he ever co op with Bugs? <laughs> yeah, uh, I've played before. Uh, the game doesn't really run well with recording and stuff, so we haven't really done much with it. And uh, probably not with any of them. wants to know if you'll be his friend. Sure.
All right, so we got the build together, guys. Everything is finally put together. Well, almost everything. Most of it's all together, most of it's in there. Uh, this is where we're gonna be ending things for the night, but before we go, guys, we'll do a quick test boot to make sure everything turns on. And uh, I'll show you guys that so you guys can see through the glass here. So let me turn this around. We can get a cable ran to it. I'm ready. Yeah. Plug this in. Plug it in. Just put it over there. Alright guys, we're plugged in. Everything looks good on screen. Just gonna go ahead and power on. Well, it didn't start. Uh, that's not good. Alright, let me look at something real quick. I have an idea of what it might be. Of the vehicle, the Explorer, Dispatcher is Tyler. Yep, that's what. So, uh, what I forgot to do was turn the actual PSU on because we had the outside connection turned on, but not the inside connection. So I just took care of that. So let's seal this back up, and we'll give it another test boot. Uh, it's fun if you like that style of game. That's really all I can say about it, I mean. And he also asks, will you be back on the port? Uh, yeah. I, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, I bought the PSVR, PlayStation VR headset. So I've been playing with that for a little bit, and, uh, I might do something with that this week, weekend. Um, uh, maybe do a stream, maybe do a video, I don't know yet, we'll see. So just stay tuned for that. I've accepted everybody who's added me on PS4. So if you have, if you want to add me on PS4, you can. Um, I don't really join parties, so if you send me a party invite, don't feel bad if I don't join because I don't really join any party invites. Um, but if I'm playing something that you guys are interested in or have, I mean, then uh, by all means, I'm willing to invite people. But if I'm just doing my own thing, then don't be surprised if I don't respond. Alright, so test number two. I saw some lights come on. Now it's a good sign. Looks like we have power. I see the red light down here. You guys can't really see it, but let's go ahead and kick this baby on. Yeah, we've got lights. We've got our LED on the top here, and we've got LED on the bottom here. Turn this here so you can kind of see that a little bit better. There we go. So it looks like our motherboard is currently glowing red. Hard to tell in here. I don't know if we can turn off the lights. Uh, yeah, over there, there's the slider. There. I'll, uh, 
adjust our lights. And... So if you guys can see here, see a little bit better now. Let me see. Just scoot the whole thing over this way. There we go. You guys can get a good look at it there. So we have the the board is shining red right now. Corsair is white with the white upper and lower RGB strips. Um, I'll have to figure out how to address the colors and stuff on that later. It's probably in software. Um, yeah, everything is super quiet. Like, I don't hear any of these fans going right now. Um, it's, like, deathly quiet. It's, it's kind of eerie. I had to make sure everything is working because I can't hear it. Um, but, yeah, so that's the build, guys. So I want to thank you guys for uh, tuning in, guys. And uh, I think that's where we're going to end things today. So guys, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Slap that like button before you guys go. And until the next stream, guys, have a good night and happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you later, guys. Good night.